Good evening, y'all. Hope y'all having a good evening. It's, uh, actually, it's my weekend now. I'm off tomorrow, and I uh, just kind of want to show you, uh, like tonight, um, always my day off. I've got some things to do, but I'm going to go fishing first thing in the morning. Can't wait. Uh, so nice that the rain has come. God has blessed us with rain. We haven't had rain in quite a while. And, uh, man, the temperature has dropped. I mean, oh, I think, I'm not exaggerating, I think it's like almost 30 degrees. So it is a very nice outside right now because the front has moved in. So that means the fish should be biting in the morning. With the water moving and the amount of rain we got very quickly, it should be stirring things up uh, in the beds and hopefully getting the water moving. So I'm going to kind of walk you through how I look at uh, my bait selection and and this time of year and what I do um, obviously I'm no professional fisherman <laughs> or anything like that and I'm just an old old boy who likes to fish but the kind of experience has taught me to kind of walk you through this and and this is kind of what I would do obviously I've shared my, my backpack here that I use all the time well I'm going to use my wife's piano bench as my table here in my little office but uh, let's see if I can get this open. And again, I've ordered uh, some stands and stuff to help me with my camera stuff. So hopefully that'll come in very quickly. Uh, but anyways, I will show you. First is this bad boy. Now, I always rig up two of my baits caster uh, reels with about 14 pound test. And I forgot the gear ratio of my bait casters. Uh, it's like a six and a half, six foot six, just maybe, I don't think it needs seven foot, I think it's six foot six rod. Um, but I, I rig this up with uh, little flukes here. So this is kind of like the, the shiner or shad color. This color here, man, I've been to four different lakes in the area and uh, just bank fishing off the side, just checking them out. And, this color here has been on fire. I haven't used this color much, but also this color here, this uh, ice flake, I think it's called, uh, will hit this. And I got this at uh, uh, Bass Pro Shops. I think it was $6.99. Pretty good deal uh, for these here. So I always take flukes with me, and I usually will fish these um, weightless, or I'll put a... a a hook on there with the weight on it like a swimming hook and I think it's a four aught size hook that'll do these so I always carry these with me great baits fishing clear water muddy water whatever on the top or a text I usually Texas rig it's easiest I don't like to mess with the swivels and all that of a Carolina rig um, but this right here these catch fish so comment down below if you've ever used uh, uh, a fluke or swim bait here uh, this is a Bass Pros brand but man they're very effective so I really do like these so I always carry this with me if I'm bass fishing so I got these and they sit the side um, and in my bag um, that's obviously here's my little <laughs> trout kit or uh, little brim kit uh, so I always I've got this packed full of uh, looks like a uh, little crappie jigs, um, some rooster tails, um, and then some hairless jigs here. Uh, but I do take um, when I go fishing, I try to hit, like I said the other day, four different types of species of fish. And around here, the most commons are bluegill, bass, um, crappie. Um, and some we have some small mouth, but and then catfish. I hardly ever go catfishing unless I'm, you know, wanting to do some eating <laughs> and grilling. That's mainly the only reason why I catch them is I catch them, bring home, fly them, you need them. But here I like to do these because it's fun to catch these, or I'll go catfishing. I'll use this uh, lures to catch the, uh, you know, some small bait fish to use as live bait if I'm out there for a long time, or if I'm going a lot of times fishing at night. And you know what happens at night. A lot of crazy things happen and critters come out, which, you know, I can't prove they exist. But I'm pretty sure I've been harassed by them, <laughs> if you know what I mean. But anyways, this is what I use. And I'll be doing the first thing in the morning is trying to go get some 
crappie and uh, some brim uh, for lunch, hopefully. Um, but I'll, I'll use these, which I've already got my lines rigged. I have two poles, two pound tests that I bring in my trout rigs. I'll use these right here. Um, and then digging in the bag again, my backpack here. Here's my other uh, little tackle box I bring. And again, all these fit all right in there. Um, so if I keep that right there. As you can see, here's some trout mealworms um, that I was using the other day in my previous vid videos. And I got some crawls in here that I'll use if I'm going to go to the river. I uh, may go to the river and try some smallies, uh, but I like to use those. And then a bunch of different assorted uh, worms and little minnows and crickets in there that I'll put on little jig heads here. And if I get, if the wind's really bad and I don't want to mess with sight fishing, I'll, I'll put a bobber on there. About a liter of line too to do. But anyways, I carry this. Very helpful as you saw. I caught a lot of fish with these. I think they're $1.97 at Walmart. I think they were like two fifty at Bass Pro Shops. But anyways, same lure, different costs. You decide what you want. So that's all I'm going to say about that. But very good. So I'll move that to the side. Um, and then, all right, we're getting to the meat and potatoes now. Oh, look here. <laughs> Man, this company here, I, I really like what they sell. Um, this company's been around probably, I think, five or six years and, and really gained my attention in startup. You know, I do a monthly subscription to them. I think it, with all the discounts I've got, I think it's costing me. I think 18 bucks and usually get like nine or ten lures which is an outstanding price but in here that's one of the things they give you is a nice little felt bag which helps keep your hooks and all that going but let's see if I can pull this out with one hand oh, there went my lures down there but I'll get them later but um, let's see if I can get this out so number one here's a clout worm then it's a violent color. I caught a lot of bass last week on this, but this is a uh, 5.4 inch. Uh, it's kind of like a, um, uh, I forgot what that's called. A little stick worm here. Uh, man, the name of that uh, lure, it just left my mind, but you put your hook in there, you can fish them weedless. Um, this is kind of like a dark blue watery color. If the water is not clear, I use this. Um, I forgot the name. I cannot believe I forgot that. Um, but uh, that tells you what happens when you get old. You forget. <laughs> um, but then here's the next one, the Divine Shaky Worm. Um, so you can this is a little seven inch worm so in the summer bass get really finicky on what they want to eat and what they hit and and you can fish things like this to tempt them on what they buy and i did a video i think two weeks ago of these products that came in i'm telling you what they work um but this is the dark water bug color again used for muddy water but again you can fish this like a, a finesse rig or a, um a shaky head rig you know or I, I usually do Texas rig on this with like a, a quarter ounce bullet weight on it with no leader or anything so that's that one color there let's go in and find what the other stuff I've got in here oh here's the green pumpkin so here's a rule of thumb if you're fishing in clear water and it's you know more than 80 degrees outside and it's the summertime go with this color always this is this color here on any bait you throw on a uh, soft plastic or a crawl or a, I call it a beaver bait and I don't know weird looking thing with appendages and stuff but this thing here this color will hit will take it and I found that most you know different species of fish will hit this um, but again it's called the divine shaking worm by six cents uh, I actually go check it out. Uh, this is a very good bait. Uh, these just came in. I can't wait to use it. So I'll let you know how it went tomorrow and the weekend when I use it. So that's that. Another worm. Because in the summer, basically, when it gets really hot, guys, 
you're not going to find top water baits that's going to hit. Uh, spinner baits probably not going to hit because it's really hot and big fish go to the, they've spawned and they either go real shallow or they go very deep under cover. So uh, and that's what a worm will do is get in there very deep in the cover. Whereas you throw a crankbait in there, you're probably going to get snagged on something and whatnot. But I find worms help very good. Oh, here we go. Here's another thing. Zoom. These suckers here. If I can get out of the camera here. Man, that's right. Bass love them. Caught a lot of bass on these things. And they're so fun. You can fish them on top water. You can fish them, you know, on a, a Texas rig. And these are the big boys. These are the 7 inch Magnum. So in the summer, you want to get a lot of action, go big on plastic. Get their attention. And uh, again, this is the white ice color flavor and you can just hook them in there in the top and feed your hook through which you watch any pro bass guys on TV or other YouTube channels I guarantee you they have this in their arsenal and they're fishing it why not steal it that's what I've been doing I've been fishing them for quite some time I know I got these online for I think $3.99 a bag so they're very cheap to get problem is stores run out everybody's been fishing because of the you know the pandemic but it's hard to get them the right colors in so the next deal i will use is this by six cents it's called a divine swim bait so this is a trailer that you put on i wish i had my jigs in here but i didn't bring them so i got uh, my medium action bait caster rod um the 14 i no, i think it's 17 pound test fluorocarbon on there but I'll throw the swim jig on there, which, which is a, right now a half ounce. And then I'll put this 3.8 inch uh, swim bait trailer on it. And it just swims like this, gives you, and it rolls in, in the water. So it's trying to attract those fish to come up and eat. And as you can see, this is the baby bluegill. So this time of year around my neck of the woods, uh, bluegill, bullgrim. Um, pumpkin seed, um, water, I forget the watermelon color they call them, even uh, some rock bass um, are spawning. So the year on the beds, I spooked a bunch of them the other night when I was taking the video and did this, but they're on the bed. And so this right here, he's swimming over, imitates a baby bull grim or bluegill. So I'll take that on my swim jig. I have two rods for that. I kind of just take my whole arsenal. I can go back to the car in the truck to get it what I need and just take it out. Instead of cutting line, retying, I have it all ready to go. Um, the other thing, another crawl which I like by Strike King, is this Rage Tail. It's kind of curly worm here. Oh, I'm not getting in focus um, right here. Um, anyways. Uh, bear with me guys I'm new to this video stuff so I apologize I'm making you sick here looking but it's a watermelon color just like the green pumpkin and I put these on the Texas rig in the afternoon usually when the bites start slowing down in the morning on top water or spinning bait you go to this you'll catch fish I promise you I did and you know you just gotta be patient with it and let them take it and eat it and then pull and so, or you can do uh, weedless on this. So here's another bait. Here, put that over there. Um, another thing in here. Oh, I cannot wait to use these right here. These are the green pumpkin prawns by six cents. I just ordered these that came in. Uh, they're 4.2 inches long. And as you can tell, you know, you, you can use these um, on a Texas rig or throw it weedless and weightless too so i cannot wait to see what this does tomorrow i'm gonna have to be patient which i'm not a patient person uh, to, to hook set these so these will hit if these don't hit then i'll go to the divine uh the worm the shaking worm and i'll put that on instead um next up oh yeah is another zoom sexy shed and these are a little bit smaller, but they have a different kind of tail. So I'm kind of curious what they'll do tomorrow when I see this. Um, let's see. Oh, here we go again. I'm on another bag of 
the Disco Violet. I showed this earlier with the kit from Bash Pro, but these are a little bit bigger. And I'll use these in a weighted setup. So like Texas Rig, plump it off the ground, off the bottom. Or I'll put it on a spinner bait. Works very really well. Um, and finally, uh, lastly, if I can get out of here with my hand. Sorry about the camera moving my phone. Is the other color dark order bug. So as you can see, I am going to be fishing heavily with soft plastics tomorrow. Because based on the, the, the weather conditions. But in the morning, I plan to get out there really early. Uh, hopefully 6, 37. Do a little top water action, um, some spinner baits, uh, and then as the day goes on, I uh, hope it don't get rain. I'll probably get more rain tomorrow. Um, I will switch over to these where I'll go to the swim jig trailers there, as you've seen. But uh, again, a lot of baits here that I use throughout the day. I won't use them all probably, but I just want to be prepared that I can go out there and fish and catch and have fun all at the same time not spend all my time trying to switch that out and or mess with you know trying to figure out what bait was this what was that um, and then obviously the lastly thing in my bag here is old school bag here is my trusty pliers like I said the other day I caught a like a three pound catfish on a little top water uh trout chick and i was like man what am i gonna do well, i walk all the way back to the freaking car to get those because i didn't bring them i was too lazy and instead of bringing my backpack um but then obviously i got uh, more dividers and look at there i've had this thing for oh, almost 28 years still works um but always need that to verify what you caught so and bottom line that's what i bring all in this little backpack here uh, I've had for quite a while. Yeah, I've, I've got like four or five different tackle boxes full of swim jigs, crankbaits, um, you know, trout rig, you name it. I got it. been collecting. It's kind of what I do is I'll go to, like I said, farm auctions and I'll, or state auctions and look to see if I can afford things and, and get things. But anyways, just want to show you today. I know it's a long video apologize but kind of people have been asking me which i think is very cool that hey man what are you doing enjoy your video what do you what else do you use or bigger baits i want to show you the arsenal kind of what i would do if i'm going to primarily going to be fishing throughout the day for a species so the other day i was showing you i was fishing very quickly on sunday afternoon for um you know blue grill crappies that's all i did i didn't tend to want to fish for bass but i caught bass uh, so these bigger baits you're not going to catch the smaller fish you may snag our crappie here and there or a catfish depending on if they take this the crawls whatever but if i'm focusing on through the day is the bigger hopefully bass that are out there that are deep i'm talking where i'm fishing the water column is probably up to 15 feet they're probably going to be at 14 feet hanging around there or under and hold up lily pads and structure i'm going to be bouncing jigs around there slowing it down i uh, hardly ever do live bait and that's just to me that's boring because you can catch anything and bring them in unless i want to you know i'm truly hungry or whatever i'm putting on a fish fry i will i'll i'll use live bait but to me it's sport to and it's challenging to me to go and uh use these type of baits because it takes practice it takes patience and it takes, you know, just the willingness to be out there and endure it and get it done and not get frustrated. Um, you know, that's the biggest thing is, is this is a endurance sport, I think. Um, not all fish bite. You don't know what fish is out there. When you're out there bank fishing, you don't have the luxury of having a $5,000, you know, radar telling you where the fish are at or Doppler or whatever they're called to exactly show you and you can't get to places but if when you walk the banks you walk the rivers you know it's fun i think to go out there and do it so anyway sorry for the long video but i just wanted to share because people have been asking me what do you use what kind of soft plastics do you use the zoom products <laughs> you know people have been asking me about the six cents product and some of the hats i have i wear i love it 
I mean, that's a great company. I haven't even gone over the crankbaits that I use for that company. Um, but they have a monthly subscription uh, deal that I've signed up for. It's the cheapest one, and I got a discount using a code. I got 10% off, and it's costing me um, near $18 for it. And, yeah, I think you get up to 9 or 10 lures. I don't know. I'll have to wait for my next month to come in. To, we'll check it out and do a video on it. But, uh, anyways, I just want to show you this, and hopefully... Next time I'll show you baits, I'll have my, my camera set up and all that where you can see me go through it and not be uh, one-handed doing it. So, and again, I appreciate your time. I hope you have a good day and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Uh, God bless you, and I hope you uh, have a good and safe 4th. Kind of remember why we celebrate the 4th. If you're in America, you know, uh, some places don't have the luxury celebrating our freedom um what my ancestors and your ancestors uh, fought for i know my family did and uh oops my hand slipped i'm very appreciative of what they did and the sacrifice so again uh, i just want to shout out to y'all hope you have a good day uh if you have any questions or like tell me what else you'd like to have in your con uh in the next round of content um um i'm Love fishing, as you can see, but I also like to grill. I play golf and do all that on my favorite spare time. So God bless y'all. I'll catch you later. See ya.